Modeling ascension after the empire did not end with the first geoengineering event in human history. From the late 19th century onwards, the island is transformed into a remote global situation room from where theaters of war and mass surveillance are operated on Earth and far beyond. The first major event that turns ascension into a critical node within a worldwide system of modern communication and warfare occurs in 1899, when an underwater telegraph cable known as the All Red Line is installed. The All Red Line was an information net cast across the British Empire to oversee its colonies. It also laid the foundation for Britain's first modern propaganda bureau to intercept and control messages <coughs> from enemies and allies during the First World War. Today, the massive antennas of the British Broadcasting Corporation's Atlantic Relay Station, located on Ascension and installed to broadcast out to Britain's former colonies, are reminiscent of this first imperial propaganda web. Ascension's geostrategic importance becomes clear again during the Second World War, when, in 1939, the United States government constructs Wide Awake Airfield. From July 1942 until the end of the war, 25,000 US planes, aided by the British, transit through Ascension Island, destined for war zones in North Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. In 1982, the British Royal Air Force reactivates Wide Awake Airfield after Argentina reclaims the colonized territory of Islas Malvinas. Ascension Island is now a key transit zone for the subsequent Falklands War. At one stage, becoming the busiest airport in the world. The island does not only supply and operate theatres of war across continents, it also surveils other possible threats to empire. During the Cold War, the United States Air Force constructs a target tracking radar station in the area known as Cat Hill. Nicknamed the Golf Ball, it would subsequently become the location of a global surveillance facility established jointly by the United States' NSA and the British GCHQ. Even orchestrating planetary war and mass surveilling its human population is not enough, and so Empire's eyes reach towards the stars. In 1967, NASA builds a tracking station to support the Apollo Lunar Landing Program. NASA and the Air Force Research Laboratory operate a meter-class autonomous telescope from the island as part of a deep space surveillance system. The European Space Agency also establishes a station on the northeast coast of the island to track its commercial Ariane rockets. And so, Ascension Island is terraformed and technoformed. Empire's colonial ecosystem is not limited to organics alone. Its tech infrastructures of domination and surveillance, the ears and eyes of empire, grow there as well, and map, once more, other worlds to propagate in its image. <laughs>